What's going on guys, this is the King Cobra yet again, and uh, this is attempt number two at uh, making a commentary. Uh, this is some footage, some domination footage on Dome on Modern Warfare 3. Uh, I started recording this gameplay actually before, right after the, what do you call it, the uh, beginning of the match starting after the countdown, so what you're seeing is... Uh, it looks like I'm in the middle of it, but actually I just started this game, so... Hope you enjoy it. Um, shoutouts to uh, Nax Heary, aka the White Mantis, for getting me uh, a, a converter program that's specific to the Avermedia files. It converts AVI to MP, uh, M MP4, I guess it's called. And um, he told me Sony Vegas shouldn't have a problem after that, and uh, from what I'm seeing, it don't th I don't think it has a problem with it. <laughs> to say the least, so, uh, yeah, I actually started this with, uh, no idea with what to talk about in mind, so, uh, I guess I can tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I am 20 years old right now. I am currently attending a two-year college close to my house for a computer science degree. Uh, I've always been fascinated with computer science, so even in, uh, high school. I took a web page design class and fell in love instantly. Although, uh, the stuff they taught us in high school and the t stuff they teach us in college is a little different because what they taught us in high school was how to code with HTML format. And, uh, in college they're teaching us how to use Java. So, uh, that's a little, it's a little bit different. I mean, it's new and, uh, I didn't exactly know what to think of it at first. Um, I, uh, live, I've lived in the same house for 15 years with my mom, my dad, and my sister who is turning 15 this October. Uh, I have two dogs, uh, both Black Lab Border Collie mixes, and I have four cat, or no, I have five cats. <laughs> five gray tabbies, because uh, what happened was, this is the story, I'll go ahead and tell you guys. I'm sure I've told you a few of you already, but uh, what happened was the mother cat came to our house one day, and uh, it was like, the funny thing, it was, it was on my grandfather's birthday, I believe. And uh, this mother cat came to the house. Uh, it was the sweetest thing. We didn't know what to expect because obviously, you know, if you see some random cat in your garage, you don't know if it's uh, feral or what. But um, what we did was we used to keep food in the garage for our neighbor's cat because our neighbor's cat liked to come over and sleep in the garage just to get out of the sun every now and then. So we left some food in there for our neighbor's cat. And I guess that attracted this random stray. And uh, she was as, as sweet as could be. So we just kept uh, giving her food in the garage, and we kept feeding both her and our neighbor's cat. And they, and they slept in, like, these little boxes that we put out there. And so about, you know, two or three weeks later, we noticed her stomach start to get a little bigger. <laughs> and uh, we thought, oh, well, she's just eating a lot, because she was really skinny when she first came to us. She's, so we're just like, oh, she's been eating a lot, because we've been feeding her and the other cat. And so... Ah, that was in December, and so come March of the next year, she had, or it was either February or March, I don't remember now, but she had six kittens in our garage in the very box she slept in. Uh, she did it all by herself. There was nothing, uh, we did not contribute. It was really funny because she cleaned up everything. She, uh, I don't want to gross you guys out, but she didn't leave any blood or anything around. So here we are with six kittens and the mother and two dogs. We kept them separated because, uh, obviously, you know, cats don't exactly like dogs and vice versa. But anyway, so they stayed in the garage, all six of the, or seven of them, until we found homes for three of them. And we kept the other three and the mother. And uh, one of them we gave away to a neighbor, and we noticed that they weren't really taking care of her too well. So we're just like, alright, I mean, you know, if you're not going to take care of her, we'll just take her back. And it turns out they wanted us to take her back anyway, so we figured, hell, that'll be the, uh, it'll be ideal for everyone. And now we keep, uh, the original three that we kept and the mother upstairs with us, and the other one we're trying to, you know, get a, get uh, acclimated with the other four. But she stays in the basement uh, near where I have all my stuff, my PS3, computer, uh, PS2, all that good shit. And, um, 
so yeah, we're, we have, uh, we're, right now we're just trying to get her to get along with the others. That way it'll make our lives a hell of a lot easier. But, uh, yeah, so that's pretty much all about me. I don't know what else there is. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm a six foot six. And, uh, I've been like a giant ever since middle school, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, in this gameplay, we've got the Silence P90 and the Silence, I think it's either the MP9 or the MP7, whichever one is the secondary weapon that you can get. And, uh, like I said, that's Silence 2. And I just prefer, like, I never used the P90 on, uh, Modern Warfare 2 or... I don't think they had it in Black Ops, so... I just never used the P90 before that much, because I just didn't think it was that good of a weapon. But on this game, it's it's pretty kick-ass. I mean, for a while I just kept using the ump like I did in Modern Warfare 2. But I've, be I've, gotten, I've become able to use that gun, and it's pretty BA. I prefer the P90 with extended mags in a silencer, but uh, I'll use rapid fire in a silencer from now, every now and then. Uh, what else is there? I've never actually gotten a Moab on this game, which really kind of pisses me off, but I can understand why at the same time. I was a big fan of, like I said in the previous one, I was a big fan of Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3's uh, gameplay and... what would you call it? I guess the whole system is just a hell of a lot different, really, to be honest with you. And, um... Uh... With that being said, like I said in the previous video, I still like Modern Warfare 3, I still like Black Ops, even though I get my ass kicked on a daily basis from them. Both, really. Um, yeah, so, I apologize for saying um every two seconds. Like I said, I didn't have anything to talk about as soon as I started. I'm still uh, hell-bent on getting the proper programs for the Avermedia recorder. And uh, thanks to uh, Tony, the, Na uh, the White Mantis, Snack Siri. Uh, I think this program just might work. Uh, of course, we won't know until I upload it to YouTube, which will probably happen today. <laughs> I don't know why I'm telling you that. Of course, I'm recording this while I'm watching me play in Sony Vegas. So, um, uh, so yeah. Uh, what else is there? I'm trying to become a Machinima Respawn director. I'm sure I've told you guys that before. Uh, that's why I'm hell-bent on getting these programs all sorted out and everything. Um, it'd be nice to uh, grow a fan base and do all the shit that uh, Wings of Redemption, Woody's Gamertag, X-Jaws, all those guys do. That'd be pretty badass. Uh, that's part of the reason why I got a, an HD recorder. Originally it was for MGO, but obviously that hasn't gone too well lately with the amount of DDoS and everything. But I am recording this on uh, the very day after the last survival ever on MGO. So it is currently Sunday, uh, June s June 10th. And uh, yeah, if you haven't watched Mumra's live stream of the last NA MGO survival, then you should definitely go check it out. It's fucking hilarious. And then there's, uh, uh, I don't know if you guys know Dflex, Dan, or The D. He's got a funny video of our good friend the white mantis snoring <laughs> on in his mic on the last NA survival so that was pretty funny too um, even if this video doesn't work let me give a few shout outs to the people that made it possible thus far I mean there might be some people that helped me out down the road but thus far we have Sniper Express we have uh, uh, the D Dflex Gaming we've got the white mantis Tony Alright, the, the Nax Siri. Um, I don't want to sound like a dick and say that I think that's all of them. Because I don't know if there's anyone else. <laughs> I know Jetbat's trying to help me with a few things, but he's had school lately, so uh, it's understandable. And we're, we're going to try and get, uh, what do you call it, up and running. That damn SoundTap audio recorder for like recording Skype calls. And that way we can do like uh, some dual comms with some people. That'd be awesome. I will tell you this though, unless there is a program I can download on the internet, uh, due to the fact that I have an Avermedia recorder, I don't think I'll ever be able to do a live stream. Because I believe I remember seeing that on the description of the recorder on Amazon. 
Uh, I think the reason for it is because the Avermedia works a little different than the Hopodge. What you do is you put all, like you record videos onto an external hard drive and then you put the external hard drive onto the computer's hard drive. So you're not streaming directly into your computer. It's, it's, it's a little different. It's a lot easier. But I don't know if that was uh, the better way to go or not. I mean, it works for me. It's really nice. I, I like it. It was a good uh, preference by Mumra and Jetbat, and it was it was I, I like I said I really do like it. It's easy for a simpleton like me to use. So, but anyway, this commentary is coming to a close, and so is the gameplay. Looks like so. Until next time, this has been your boy King Cobra, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, I'll have some more info on my new YouTube channel that'll be coming up soon uh, once I get all this sorted out and everything. Until next time, guys. Peace out.